Slauzer here, back with another video. And today, I'm just here to give an update on the channel. Yes, it's finally done. I hit the milestone of 1,000 subscribers. It was tough, and if anyone's doing the same thing, they're doing their own streaming or, or have their own YouTube channel. From my experience, yes, trust me, it is hard, extremely hard. But all I can say is the most generic thing. Just keep going, keep grinding, and it will eventually happen. But you just have to keep going for it, man. You have to keep going for it. So what this video is about, I'm just going to give an update of where this channel is going to be going forward because there are a few things I'm going to be changing. When it comes to these types of videos, there's always a good news and a bad news. Me personally, I always start with the bad news because you want to at least end it with a, a good thing. However, the bad news isn't necessarily bad. Some of you might not actually mind at all. Some of you might prefer it. But I know some of you will be maybe upset or won't be happy with it. But I do believe it's just, it's better for the future of the channel for now. I'm going to keep this channel for now, strictly multiverses and Smash Bros Ultimate. I loved playing games like Fall Guys, Fortnite, Minecraft, Mario Party. They're fun, you know, it's relaxing. You just have fun. That was all it really did. While if I played more multiverses, or Smash Bros, there's a lot more things I can gain from it. One, this my channel is based on Smash Ultimate. You know, most of you guys who view my videos, who come to my live streams, who watch my videos, are Smash Bros Ultimate fans. So that's why I feel like this might not affect all of you. If anything, some of you might like it more that I'm gonna be playing Smash Ultimate more. Two, I mean, I love the game. It is great, and I'm <laughs> I'm very rusty right now, and I want to get back into not being rusty. And three not just for smash bros but for multiverses this gives me more time to actually hit that level i want to hit because if you're new to this channel my goal has always to been a pro competitive player if it was for smash bros or now multiverses i want to be a competitive pro player and in order to do that i need to play multiverses as much as i can and train as much as i can so playing games like minecraft and mario party if anything they, they just it slows me down instead of training i'm just well, I'm not training. Number four, when I first started this channel, obviously people have to look at tips and advice on how to grow a channel. And one of the advices I found was a lot of people play multiple games. And when they do that, it's hard for people to stay. For example, let's say Mario Party. If you have someone who comes over to view your stream for Mario Party, but then they know you only play it once or twice a month, what will get them to stay? You know, what will get them to subscribe? while versus if you play a game nearly every day of that week or at least three or four times that person would then know okay this person's clearly serious about this game i like their personality i like the game they're playing i'll subscribe this is technically advice for anyone who wants to do this the best thing to do is usually stick with one or max two games i did have my two main games smash and multiverses but then i started adding a bit more but now i'm going back to the old route of just sticking to two games until the dream of the full-time streamer. There's loads of reasons why to just play with Smash Bros and Multiverses versus not to play it. I don't know why I said bad news because that's the only bad thing. <laughs> but I mean, I guess, like I said, to some of you guys might be a bit sad on that because I know I played a few of you on these games and it was fun. It really was fun. And I eventually in time will go back to that. But that's if I ever get to the stage of becoming a full-time streamer right now. I'm still part-time, so my time's more limited. So I feel I need to use that time more smartly. When the day I can go full-time, I'll have a lot more time. So therefore I could do these games again. Now for the good news, which I mean, pretty much I said it in the bad news, is yes, this channel will now be strictly Multiverses and Smash Bros Ultimate. My plan is to still play Multiverses more because again, that is the game I wanna be competitive with. I want to be a, a pro player. I like, I really do. It's not one of those things where I'm just saying it and then I, if it happens, it happens. No, I'm really trying. I train when I'm at work on my break. I bring in my laptop and I train at work on the lab. And of course, when you see me streaming, some days I just do all day multiverse training and do a lot of online ranked. Well, not ranked, but it technically it does your rank. And then the secondary is Smash Bros Ultimate. Right now, before this change, I would usually have one stream for Smash Ultimate and then one 
where it's shared between multiverses and Smash Ultimate. But going forward, my plan is to look more like this. Here's a tease of what next week's stream schedule will be. This is the before and this is the after. So as you can see now, it's a lot more clean, a lot more organized since it's just two games, which I do believe going forward it will help it will help the channel's growth because again most of you guys came from smash ultimate it helps the skill it goes back to the old roots and play with you guys more often because i, I do miss it um i played a bit yesterday and it was fun um even though i lost <laughs> it gave me the feeling of like oh, I, I need to play this more again and for as i mentioned for the memberships it really will benefit them more damn i forgot to mention that's why i'm coming back to this video Another good news is we're no longer just doing Smash Bros Ultimate 1v1 tournaments. I'm going to be introducing crew battle tournaments. Yes, that's three players per team. You share between nine stocks, three each. Then the aim of the game is, well, yeah, you have to knock out your opponents. If you don't know what crew battles are, in the most simple way I can explain it, let's say team one versus team two, player one versus player one. If team one's player one, beats team two's player one and they lost two stocks in the process that means they have one stock remaining when they face the next opponent from team two they will have to face them with one stock remaining because they lost two against the first opponent let's say now that they manage to take another stock off the team two player but then they lose because they only had one stock that team two player will have two stocks remaining so when they face team one's player two they will have to face with two stocks remaining. So hopefully you understand now how crew battles work. If you still don't, you're gonna have to Google it because then it will take me a bit more to explain it and I don't want to drag up this video. And for the multi-versus players, I would love to host a tournament for that. But sadly, without spectator mode, I still can't. I'm hoping it will eventually come um, and sometime soon. But until then, I can't host them. But as soon as multi-versus has spectator mode, I will start doing multiverses tournaments 1v1s. I think that is it, it's just a quick update. Like I said, I am YouTube partnered now. So it might be annoying to see ads, but I do apologize, but it does help fund the channel. So that way I do get to that dream of becoming a full-time streamer. Even, even though ads are small, but it does add up through time, especially that I'm, I'm still working part-time. If I combine the money together, it's getting me closer and closer to that dream. And the same with the memberships. No one has to. It's all good. I will still appreciate every one of you for even just coming to the stream or watching my videos. I'm always appreciative of that. But if you do want to support me, you can uh, click the link in the description below and become a member of the Bum Empire. The perks are basically for Smash Ultimate Multiverses. So depending on what game you play, if you play both, then I guess it benefits you even more. But if you play either one, then yeah, just check them out. If one of them goes to your liking, then hey, if you want to, then join up. But if none of them really interest you, then it's all good. Like I said, just by showing up to the streams, I truly am appreciative of that. But yeah, I think that's it. I'm trying to keep this short and simple. Again, it's a very short update. I just wanna let you guys know what's gonna be happening in the future. Um, keep you guys updated you know every time there is an update i usually do one of these so this is that with that all being said i hope whoever's watching this has a good rest of the day and see you in future streams slauza is out